our tutorial, we'll show how to make stylish earphone holders. We'll need a piece of natural or imitation leather, a piece of denim, copper wire, white glue, scissors, a brush, pencil, cup for glue, ruler, plastic tray for glue work, and cardstock for patterns. Take a piece of cardboard. Draw two lines for the pattern centers. Sketch a willow leaf around the first line. Its long shape is ideal for a holder. You can trace a natural leaf picked up in the park. Make another holder arrow shaped. Mark 1 5th inches off the center to the left and right to make the shaft. Measure out half an inch from the center to draw the fletching. Outline the head. Draw a cross line and mark off an inch from both sides. Join the marks making the triangular head. Draw the shaft. and the fletching. Cut out both patterns. Take a small piece of copper wire to make the holder keep shape and be flexible. Take the leather. See which side has a more intricate look. We'll need two details, as mirror images of each other. Trace the patterns. You can use a pencil marker, tailor's chalk, or an ink fabric marker. A plain ballpoint pen will do as well. Cut off the excess. Fold in half with the image on top. Cut out the leaf. Measure out a piece of the wire a bit shorter than the leaf. Cut it out. Add some glue to a cup to make the job easier. Cover the cutout leaf with the glue using a brush. Place the wire on another leather piece. Attach the leaf. Be careful to place the wire across the leaf center. Press down well. The wire sandwiched between the leather sides resembles a leaf stalk pattern. Continue pressing over for a better attachment. Cut off the excess wire to prevent it sticking out. Smooth the surface with a round brush handle end. Let it dry. Now make the arrow. Take the denim. The fabric has been waxed. That's why an intricate pattern can appear if you crumple it with your hands. Make the pattern using a pencil marker. Trace the stencil. Fold the fabric in half, leaving the arrow image on top. Crease the fold. Cut off the excess. Measure out the wire. Cut it out. Put the wire inside across the center of the shaft. Cover the wrong side of the fabric with the glue using a brush. When dry, the white glue neither leaves stains nor changes the cloth color. Sandwich the wire between the fabric layers. This way is quicker and more comfortable than using cutouts. Be careful to place the wire across the center of the arrow shaft. Press down with your fingers. Use a brush handle again. Smooth the surface. Let it dry. Complete the leaf. The holder is dry. Cut it out. The willow leaf clip is ready. 
The details are well attached. The leaf is flexible. It bends well to shape the earphones. The arrow is dry. Cut it out. As the fabric is dense, it takes more time to attach the details. Add some glue again. Attach the arrow with the clothespins and let it glue well for an hour or so. Remove the pins. Decorate the arrow in an American Indian traditional art style. We'll need acrylic paints, a thin brush, cardboard for a palette, and water. Squeeze the paints onto the palette. Take the basic colors, red, yellow, blue, and white. Paint the fletching first. Make strips imitating feathers. Decorate the head. The vertical pattern will emphasize a forward direction. The bright arrow clip is ready. Organize your cables and wires with these cool handmade earphone holders. Feel free to comment, give your thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and learn quickly and easily to craft various handmade accessories.